Alright, and since we are on the topic of men, women, and uh, online, uh, I can't say that word, uh, online, uh, uh, I want to say that word so bad, okay, let's use this, online degeneration of the human mind, both male mind and female mind, let's go into twitch.tv has a huge problem, I believe this is uh, about stalkers, but let's see. Twitch.tv the most popular live Kira streaming TV. platform on the planet. The service has gone through many changes over the years. Bro, I cannot believe that Amaranth is making one and a half million dollars a month. Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing, guys? Oh, God. You, like, okay, look, look. I can't believe I have to explain this. How much money would you have to spend? First of all, you can find her leaked uh, OnlyFans online for free. Just saying. But okay, you want to support her. Sure, that's what you want. Yeah, you want to support her. Okay. Why are you paying for this? So, one is let's say you want to support her. You want to give her money. To that extent, I'll be like, you know what? Fine. Shirts, sure, your man, do whatever. However, if you're doing it because you're fucking horny, man. Okay, look. There are sex shops. You can buy equipment that uh, to jerk off. You probably actually have some of it, so that doesn't even matter anymore. Okay. Prostitution. Okay. You can probably get a prostitute for a lot cheaper than what you're throwing into her uh, OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, take five minutes of your time to jerk off. You will not care about her OnlyFans at that point, right? If you're horny, just jerk off. It will go away like that, right? So it's like I can probably think of a few more uh, reasons not to give money to um, basically prostitution um, or online sex workers. But uh, yeah, man, like, oh man, guys, you're so like I don't even blame the girls for doing this. Literally, the all the fault, 100% of the fault, is the guys who are paying for this. You have glorified the whore. Not like, not that she's a whore, I mean, technically, but you know, she's a, she's a working girl, sure. But stop glorifying sex workers, okay? Like straight up. From the games only start to Idiots. real life streams, just chatting, events, live shows, and of course everybody's favorites, ASMR, hot Oh yeah, and everybody's favorites. It's safe to say that if you are in the market for some entertainment, you can find just about anything oh, on God. Twitch. Now I've used Twitch since the Bro, explain this to me. First of all, the suit is too big for her. It's not even tight. Like, look, look how loose it is here. Look how loose it is here, okay? Doesn't even make her ass look bigger, right? Fake tits or whatever. They'll always be about the same size. And also, why? How are you attracted to this? What is wrong with you people? Just about anything on Twitch. <laughs> oh, my God, Twitch bro. Start, both as a viewer and a streamer. I love Twitch from both perspectives for what it allows me to do, to connect with other people who have a shared interest. Yeah. Whether that is sharing my interests and in being social as a broadcaster, or just having another person there on my screen who I can relate to or be entertained by. It's easy to see why people form bonds when they watch creators for hundreds or thousands I have of hours no idea. across multiple years. Most of us appreciate having that person there that we've known for a long time that grows with us. Twitch uh... is fantastic for what it does and what it provides. Unfortunately, this ability to connect with people has also turned Twitch into the stalker's paradise, and it has only gotten worse over time, and will probably get worse from here. Okay, yeah, it is about stalking. This is a new concept. It's not specific to Twitch as a platform. TikTok star reveals how father fatally shot. As a company, at least not always. Armed stalker at Florida Home. Twitch yeah, hey. Platform, and I don't think... And that's why civilians should have guns. They are to blame as a company, at least not always. This has happened, of course, to YouTube creators. I lived in six different locations, and I've had fans coming up to each and every single one of them. It's fucking weird. And in a broader context, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. In all industries, Twitch is, however, in my opinion, the worst of them all, just due to how live streaming works. 
the same mechanisms that make some people stick around for hours every single day to form bonds and parasocial relationships that typically benefit the streamer is also the mechanisms that create this problem. You are on Twitch providing a product, that product is you, and you cannot control... <laughs> Love to make a video, I'm not your friend. I mean, yeah. I, I can't believe people have to, like, actually hear someone say that. That's kind of crazy to me. Who is watching you. It could be a 45-year-old man from Texas who has a wife, two kids, a stable job. He's normal. He just likes to watch your Grand Theft Auto 5 roleplay sessions and donate you a couple dollars each month for the enjoyment he receives. It could be a 16-year-old who likes watching your sick skills in Fortnite or Valorant and aspires to be as skilled as you, picking up tips along the way, looking up to you for your abilities. Or, on the flip side, it could be some Brazil! malevolence or my dog. Terrified by soccer who tried to poison her in her own. <laughs> the their fuck? Thoughts from reality. Perhaps they watch to harass you, to find your address and scare you, or send things to your home like pizzas or swap teams, which oh, have resulted in deaths in the past. How a gamer gets prison time over a swatting call that led to a man's death. Yep. Or maybe they watch you because they think you are or will be robbed. But she looks so much better with clothes. It's crazy. It's like every time she takes off like another piece of clothing i'm like oh i'm less attracted to you <laughs> it's like the clothing maker looks so much hotter it's crazy romantically interested in them whatever the reason is you can be sure that the real world 60 british women were killed by men they previously reported to police apparatus God, for protecting damn. yourself is dated to say the least i call it not fit that's fucked up best case scenario is it's not helpful worst case scenario it's harmful to your situation this is like most things common in our daily lives due to social media or the internet, the laws, the regulations, the policies, or whatever other word or system you can think of. Okay, British debate. Will the online safety bill make the internet a safer place? It's simply out of date. See, the thing is, I think this bill is not even about making people actually safe in real life. It's safe on the internet, which is like counter-bullying and all that stuff, like banning uh, certain speech and all that shit, which is like, who gives a shit, man? Like, people actually get harassed in real life because of online, or because of their online presence. Day. I can tell you this firsthand, as I have been the target of harassment and threats in my time being a content creator, though luckily really? not as bad as some of the examples were about. Sydney told inside that no police officer she had dealt with understood her job or, yeah, okay, yeah. I saw her video about this, but the problem isn't with my job, the problem is that they don't do theirs, yeah. About. Oftentimes you'll call the police and... Carthy, a streamer known as Lady Devon on Twitch, where she has nearly 60,000 followers, went to the police and the FBI after a stalker's behavior got steadily more erratic. She was told nothing could be done. They simply don't do anything. No. Amara said she called 911 when the men attempt to break in and gain entry to her premises, only to be met with a rude dispatch who constantly put her on hold, while she previously alerted nearby local police department about the stalker. It took first responders a shocking 30 minutes to arrive. Again, look how hot she is with clothes, man. And, like, probably filters and shit. No, they tell you <laughs> Only they with clothes, though. So just take them off. Uh... Call them if something more serious happens. So the latest story to come out of the Twitch sphere on this Not really a good displays how picture. Can get. Popular streamer Caitlyn, or better known as Amara, who shared uh... stories with creepy strangers and... My stalker asked if I would cancel my Twitch stream tonight since he was in town. Pitch, please. Luck towards streaming anyways. Stalkers. Numerous times. I was crazy encounter with fan who flew to her city to marry her. Her latest stalker, though, this one's terrifying. On June 7th, 2022, Amrath posted on Twitter stating the following. Quote, okay. I have a stalker who has been in my area since May 8th. He literally watches my stream all day and badly mimics everything I do. Does ASMR badly, takes a shower on his Twitch stream when I'm in the hot tub. In the past, I've reported him for restreaming me, but because he had traveled all the way from Estonia to my city, living in a nearby hotel, I want his stream to remain up so I can keep a close tab on him. He goes on to describe that she has home security and has recently hired an armed guard to live in the guest quarters of her home. Now, let me just reiterate on that tweet. I mean, bro, straight up, why not you have you make 1.5 million a month i mean you should honestly probably like you okay like this is not a solution this obviously this sucks yeah i get it however i feel like a lot of these streamer chicks who get uh, harassed uh, and again this is a bigger problem because some girls will not be able to do it i'm saying like the bigger ones who can do it they can easily live in um I don't know what those neighborhoods call, but they have like 
a security to the neighborhood, like you can't get into the neighborhood and all that stuff. Like it's a protected neighborhood and all that with um, its own security in there. So if anything happens in your house, you can call that security there and they're armed and they can come and uh, do something way faster than the police can. Now, is this a solution to the problem? Fuck no. Obviously, there needs to be something done with the stalkers. I'm just saying these girls can in a way be have an, an easy quick fix for now until the solution like there's an actual solution because right now yeah at least you can afford armed forces uh to live in her quarters you know you, so you know but it, it sucks days, regardless right it's like a man who watches her live stream which is a job yeah. has found her home city and then moved there from estonia a country in europe he's moved to the united states where he lives in a hotel nearby said she feared for his life because he feared for his life because the stalker had nothing to lose. What? Amra said he feared for his life because the stalker I had nothing to lose. He had apparently sold everything he owned and even sold his fat cat to make the trip to Houston, Texas to harass Amaranth, renting a room at a nearby hotel, mimicking her live streams and indicating that he was trying to find her. She goes on to detail that he has sold all of his worldly possessions to do this. His home, his car, his furniture, his cat, everything. He's given up on his life and he's getting himself into crippling debt. I'm actually like, I wonder why, like I know even like uh, porn stars, um, they had, um, they, did, they do have like real life stalkers. But I feel like this wasn't that big of a deal compared to like um, streamers. And I guess streamers like they have a more... Uh, like a personal relationship kind of with their chat rather than like porn stars it's more like you view it as a show so you're not as attached to the actual person all right maybe maybe that's why they like i didn't hear as many um i know i know porn stars get stalkers i heard lisa and talk about that shit but i'm just saying it's not as prevalent or as serious it looks like ruining his future to be near her a stranger on the internet whom he watches. Now, if the concept of someone showing up in your city isn't bad enough, the fact he leaves himself very little ability to return back to that previous life. Uh, what was that comment? I can't believe what's going on in the world some days. The things people do and how hard it is to get anyone to listen or take matters seriously is mind blowing. I've been fighting a cyber attack for four years because no one will listen or believe it is true. Up in your city isn't bad enough. The fact he leaves himself very little ability Megatron. to return back to that previous life. So now worries that the expense of living in a hotel with a limited amount of money will force the individual to do something. To, yeah, probably. He's gotten rid of it all. He's extremely worrying. It essentially means he has nothing to lose now. The police's resources. Yeah. Plan, the police have been well aware of the situation the whole time. They know where he is. They have regular patrols, but they cannot do anything despite the fact he's made his intensive. Of course. Very clear. I mean, look. What can the police really do? He has, he's within his legal rights overall, right? Like, technically, he is within his legal rights. It's like they really legit cannot do anything about it. Or they are the ones who are going to be in trouble and get sued and all that shit. So it's like, what exactly can you even hope uh, that they would do? You know, they can't tell him to leave. Right, they can't tell him to like stop watching your stream, right? Because that's that can be discriminatory and all that shit, right? It's like, like what can they do? Like I honestly like yeah, until they do something, like you really can't do anything to the guy. Like it's it is what it is. Live streams on Twitch all day with his Twitch title literally saying, "Find Caitlyn, aka Amaranth, and make her mine." I don't think the hotel the stalker was staying in wasn't picked randomly. It was picked because it has direct line of sight to Amran's P.O. box, which of course she owns so that her fans can send her things without having her actual address. He spent over a month camping out at Starbucks next to the P.O. box just in case she showed up. He of course also sent her explicit messages, God. He videos of him dancing, and repeatedly called her his fiance. He would type in chat in response, liar, li liar, mmm, my fiance. Now I think it's observable when somebody's like this, when they're this unwell. You either stop them or they escalate. And of course he did. How do you stop them though? After 44 days of this behavior, despite repeatedly saying on his live stream he knew what he was doing was wrong, but he just had to do it. 
Uh -huh. Shows up at her house where she lives, still live streaming himself the whole time. For 30 minutes, he walked around the outside of her property, and still, the police did nothing. Despite when the last mile journey to my residence, he cased the vicinity for 30 minutes. Cops declined to act. Again, again, depends. If you live in a protected neighborhood, then he wouldn't be able to. But if it's just like again, like this is the problem with stalking. It's like. You can't really do anything legally until he does something. Like, it is what it is. Like, you really cannot. Right? He streamed himself outside, slinking around, mumbling about how he knew it was wrong, but I have to when he, okay, when he did it, whatever. I'd be made aware of the situation. Yeah, I mean, bro, it, like, <laughs> it sucks. It straight up sucks. Yeah, and it sucks that girls have to deal with this. I'm sorry, but, like, I would say, look. I would say this is a trade-off you did when you start streaming. I think every streamer is dealing with it. Is it proportionally like between guys and girls? No, is it proportional? No. Girls are definitely dealing with it more because guys are just crazier overall. Uh, well, I, no, I would say guys are not crazier, but it's like there are more crazy chicks out there. But when a guy is crazy, he's like way over the way over the top. Okay, <laughs> maybe I don't have the statistics in front of me, but uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's the trade-off you did when you decide to make one and a half million a month on OnlyFans, right? And again, I'm not hating on her for making money. Don't get me wrong. It's like all I'm saying is you're making a fantastic living because you take the risk of ha the risk of having these crazies. And let's be real, this crazy person probably donated a lot of money for you. You know, it's like. It's not like you're returning him his money and hoping he will go away. You keep his money as well, right? He just wants something for his money that you never offered. I'm not just I'm not justifying the stalker, by the way. He he is definitely in the wrong here. I'm just saying, kind of like as expected to happen when you do what you do as a living. Try to break in. <laughs> 911 was called, and according to Ramla, dispatch was rude. They cut her off, put her on hold, and it took 33 minutes for the police to arrive. The police weren't really uh, taking it too seriously until he was physically like in my lot, right? Up and down the street, they were just like, uh, whatever. Yeah, of course, of course. He's uh, up and down the street. What, the, what, like, what do you want them to do? They can't escort him out. It's like, it's a free country. He can do whatever the fuck he wants on the street as long as he's not harassing anyone, like, directly, right? He's, like the thing is like the police comes in there like hey what are you doing here? He's like oh I'm just walking around. It's like why? It's like I I don't know I just want to walk around here. What well, well, as long as he doesn't admit that he's actually stalking you, you think that he's stalking you is your perception by the by the law. Not obviously that's not what's actually happening, but it's like they can't prove it either. Either way, they can't take him away. They can't take him to custody for no reason. Like what are they gonna hold him for? Right? They have absolutely no. Like, no, nothing. Like, they have no case, right? So it's like, yeah, they can't do anything. They're going to be like, we would need you to leave from here. And he's going to be like, why? It's a free fucking neighborhood. I can do whatever I want. So, yeah, I mean, again, it sucks. But what? Like, the cops can't do anything. Did. They detained him and contacted the embassy. Amran clarifies he's no longer in the city, and that's all she can say for now. Hopefully this means he's not going to be returning. Now this is not a happy ending. Despite him being gone, it shows that the police will do nothing, despite there being clear evidence of stalking and harassment. What would be the requirement to do something before it got to the stage of him trying to break into a house? At what point is this man breaking the law? At what point is he deemed a threat? Only apparently when he's literally on her property. This is consistent across almost every one of these cases that are brought to light publicly and it displays a massive issue. Had it not been for the fact that this man live streamed his daily activities and made it known for yeah. what he was planning to do exactly. minute by minute due to that live stream, had she not the means to hire armed security, this man could quite easily have shown up to her house and things could have ended a totally different way. For oh, example, yeah. in the case of McTurney, this man had been stalking her for a while and he broke into her and her partner's home in 2018 with a handgun with the intent of committing murder of her partner and likely other crimes that I cannot say, but you can infer from the situation. The couple had to hide in the closet after they heard the window break and a gunshot and the man had time to search the home briefly before leaving where the police had arrived and fatally shot him. McTurney had to stop posting videos, which was her main source of income, for half a year after 
due to fear for her safety and of course the mental toll that something like this yeah would probably take. another example another twitch streamer sweet anita she had to deal with a guy threatening and stalking her so I was just scouting a disgusting R word. As long as I live, I will make sure your life will be hell. I'll kill you soon. Now with cheap kitchen knife I had last time. Now I'm gonna bring something special for you. See this? I would say it requires some police involvement. You know, <laughs> uh, more so than the Amaranth thing. Both I think will require require police involvement in a much earlier stage. But this one is like direct threats. It's like that's actually illegal. I'll go to your house the next time you're going to die, then your bun bun buns, and then your mom. Her for years, the police doing almost nothing in response. The guy literally assaulted her, threatened her constantly, showed up at her house, was caught walking to her house with a knife in his possession, broke into her mother's home, threatened her mother and to kill her mother's animals. I mean, she would walk downstairs and he would be on his knees at the front door, looking at her through her letterbox. He would sleep in her garden and she says he would literally stand at her door knocking for hours at a time. Calmly walked over, making eye contact with me through the window of my house and just sat on the bench, whipped out a drink and just went and carried on watching. Whenever she left the house, he would follow her. She even got a restraining order and still he continued breaching the restraining order constantly and receiving zero repercussions. The entire time this was happening, she constantly called the police. The police... 999, if he shows up again. Where's the suit I need that from? Now that I knew what doxing is, that is that is a crime, or what live streaming is, it would appear that no further action is being taken. I have to wait for him to harm me again before they will take action. Eh, kinda, kinda how it is. The entire time this was happening, she constantly called the police. The police picked him up on his way to her home with a knife after he had sent her messages saying, I'm on my way to kill you now, and they released him from custody three minutes walk away from her house she's doing absolutely nothing yes. that was one stalker she's now come public again with another stalker who's been messaging her daily for uh, what Sweden is six twitch con security following fans accidentally finding the ticket of a crazed homeless guy how the fuck that was one stalker she's now come public again with another stalker who's been messaging her daily for months claiming he will be going to Streamers, how and where do you book security for TwitchCon events? I had a crazed homeless guy join my Discord and my community is full of really kind people so they all crowdfunded for his living expenses and Twitch tickets, etc. Not realizing he's sending messages like these. Yo, how do I get to, uh, to Sudanita's Discord to uh, get some money from these really nice people? <laughs> what the fuck? To TwitchCon, which is an in-person event that many streamers attend, to meet her, despite her not wanting to meet him, of course. He says he will be going in a disguise and details how he loves her and doesn't want to hurt her or her security. Now, every single time something like this comes out online, there's... Uh, Brook. Been getting asked this question a lot recently, so just want to give a heads up. I will not be going to TwitchCon this year. Nothing wrong on Twitch and they do a great job with security. I just don't feel safe with my stalkers and constant death threats. I'm sorry. The massive number of female streamers or content creators that share their I often think about how I will probably die by the hands of my stalker and no one can do anything about it until it really happens. I know it's heavy to talk about, but if it does happen, I hope my death will mean something and help protect other creators from similar situations. Uh, okay. Stories, stories that you will likely never know about. Sushi, yep. Appreciate it if you watch. It's, uh, tweet, tweet Anita, I guess sweet Anita. Latest video. My story involves an ex who gaslighted me, used revenge porn to manipulate me into responding to him, stalked me in person for a while, and then stalked me online ever since. Eight plus years. Wait, what? <sighs> used revenge porn to manipulate me into responding to him. So I guess he filmed them fucking and then he said he would post it? Is that what it is? Oh, because it happens to what is revenge porn? Cases that don't get the headlines, you never see their social media post about it, but it's happening. It doesn't matter how big they are, how small you they are, are fucking the viewership. Slut. I'm going to, the I'm going to take your life. I'm going to rip your throat open, I hope you know. Board. It doesn't matter what their style of content is, what they stream or how they stream it, yeah. it will just happen. The fact this happens is not the only consistent thing, of course. The inaction of authorities, the lack of tools to deal with the situation, yeah. that is as consistent as the problem itself. Another quick example, a creator called Nally Please, a World of Warcraft streamer. An ex-cop stalked her for months, Who? threatening to murder her for... Wait, an ex-cop? 
<laughs> okay, crazy are getting get the casket ready. Get the backpack ready, get the casket ready. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's I mean <laughs> it's kinda funny. It sucks, don't get me wrong. Yes, it's bad, but also this is like a very dark humor. Is it a crime to admit you plan murder? Uh, I don't think it is. Because you can easily say it was just a... What do you call it? Um, like a mind... Not a mind game, but like... You know, just kind of like an imaginary scenario. Or like... Because... Is it a crime to admit you planned murder? If you're writing a book, for example, you have to plan, like, about, like, detective work and stuff like that. You have to plan murders in there, right? So it's like, is it illegal? Probably not, you know. Photoshop her face onto the naked images of other women, spreading them around, pretending it was her, spreading her personal information, pretending to be her, trying to find her in real life. The list goes on. She tried to get a restraining order against this man. You know what information she needed to provide to proceed with the restraining order? Her home address that the defendant would gain access to should she wish to proceed. So to clarify, to get a restraining order, something that is easy to break and the consequences as previously shown could amount to zero, she would need to give her stalker who is threatening to kill her the address she lives at. Luckily, this man has since been arrested by the FBI and if convicted will face up to five years in federal prison. One of the rare cases where something happens before it's too late. Unfortunately, though, this went on for months and Nally please stopped streaming as far as I'm aware, which basically means that the career that she was pursuing and, of course, the income that she was getting from it in the meantime is just gone. And, if and again, yes, it fucking sucks. But these are the risks you're taking for the... Like, look, you think movie stars didn't deal with this back in the day? Now they're, like, just not as much, but probably still are. But it's like, you think movie stars didn't deal with this bullshit? So, oh, well, they can live in, like, a secure environment. They have secure detach. A lot of these streamers who, become, who get these, like, stalkers are wealthy enough to also do it. I'm not saying they're, like, super millionaires, but they can probably get secure detach uh, for certain uh, times, you know? I mean, it is what is. It, it sucks. It, it fucking sucks. Yeah, I get it. But, like, that's the risk you're taking when you're putting yourself out there on the internet. Like, yeah, people will find you. Crazy people, you know? I'm, I'm not saying that's like the cops didn't do a better job. Uh, are, like, the cops are evil or the cops are useless. I'm not saying anything like that because there are protocols that the cops have to follow. There's, like, you need to talk to your Congress people to pass these laws like yeah it's a big problem but the cops hands are tied this is way above the cops pay grade to decide if they can do anything about it. the cops know their own rights and it's not even that it's like well i don't understand your profession i don't think that has much to do with uh the problem if you're being stalked it's the same as like someone who's not a streamer being stalked a stalker is a stalker but you have to prove he's stalking you as well all right it's like the burden of proof is on you, not on that guy. I can easily, probably, stalk somebody, and I, nothing would be able to happen. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go to like a, a store, let's say a Under Armour store, find a cute employee. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Find any employee there and just always be there when the employee is there. Always. Will it creep him out? Yeah, but. There's nothing you can really do about it, right? It's like, what, like, what do you want to do? Like, what, like, <laughs> can't do anything. I can do, I can do it, right? As long as I'm not actually doing anything to the person directly, I can do it, right? And uh, I will get away with it. You are no different as a streamer. The only thing is, as a streamer, you are more likely to meet a crazy person like that. As someone who works in like an Under Armour store in some mall, probably not gonna happen to you. Of course, the mental toll that this takes on you is something that cannot be put into numbers or into words. There are hundreds of examples of this online. People have been murdered like this. Deranged people have, have found where yeah. somebody lives, gone yeah. to the house, and killed them. 
We yep. live in a world where you can make a living online being a content creator, a streamer, and streamer Yeah, but there's there's a risk. And yet we have almost no protections at all. It is so incredibly easy to find where somebody lives, and there's almost nothing you can do about it. Even when somebody is literally threatening you, and you can tell them exactly where they are, exactly what they've done, and it's there for you in plain black and white, the police will almost never do anything about it. It really confuses me how social media is such a huge part of most people's lives, and yet the laws and restrictions surrounding your personal identifiable information have not changed in a way that makes you harder to find for the public. This needs to change. It needs to be way harder to find people if you've not publicly put your address out there. I don't know why it's okay for people to be able to find where you live simply by finding out your real name and googling you. Now this video mostly focuses on the stalkers of female streamers because they have it the worst right now. But you're not even safe if you're a man. Swatting has been a thing for years, oh, yeah. which is where oh, yeah. the range oh, yeah. will call your local police and claim you're holding somebody hostage with a weapon or something else that would prompt an immediate arm Bro, response. the thing, like, first thing I would do, if I was these guys, I right, look at them, I get that they got man. scared, I get it, yeah. Years, which is where... Bro, first thing you do, man, you see someone coming in with a gun, boom, that's it. Just do this, don't even look at them, just fucking, like, run with a gun. Okay, hands up, make sure they see your fucking hands. Don't jump back, don't hide yourself, don't hide your hands, don't bring your hands close to your body, right? It's the one of the worst things you can do. <laughs> Don't do that shit. A deranged viewer will call your local police and claim you're holding somebody hostage with a weapon or something else. Oh, God. An immediate armed response. This sucks. He's probably in the washroom. Being killed, houses being damaged, and people losing their lives. Not oh, God. The constant waste of resources and the mental toll it takes on the creator. He's just trying to make a living or enjoy their hobby. People will order pizzas to your house, order escorts to your house. Streamers have had people shoot at their home with firearms. It just never ends. The list keeps getting longer. And a job where you sit in your home making videos or, or playing a video game or whatever else you do is becoming a very dangerous endeavor. For me, recently, I had somebody yeah. repeatedly call my personal number throughout the night and recite my details to me, my entire home address, my phone number, my email address. And when I asked them what they wanted, they told me they just wanted to let me know that they knew about me. Prior to this, I had my bank account compromised and my details stolen, people trying to take out credit cards in my name. I've had threatening emails and Discord messages. Interesting. I had to spend over $1,000 on a security system, and now I'm constantly on edge when I hear noises in the house at night. It's incredibly scary. It's stressful. I can't even imagine how bad it is for people who get much worse. This is a massive problem. It needs way more attention, and something needs to be done about this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. This is true. I understand why he made the video if uh, that's been happening to him as well. Uh, not that he wouldn't make the video if it, if it didn't happen, I can't believe I'm not subscribed to Kira. Um, yeah, man, it really sucks, uh, but um, I'm sorry, but like famous people had to deal with this since forever. I mean, if I don't know if there's anything you can really do about it. Uh, this is a mental health, this is a mental health issue more so than like a legal issue, I think, but you always have crazy people. I mean, it's still a legal issue, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's like... Met, it's a more of a mental issue than it is a legal issue. It's like if you can detect these people earlier and like do something about it, uh, they wouldn't even get to this point kind of thing, right? But uh, yeah, uh, it sucks. It really, really sucks. Um... Huh. Do not read the comment section of this video, it's one of the most pathetic I've ever witnessed. What? The peace that comes with being an absolute anonymous nobody has become greatly underappreciated in the era of social media. Still nobody should go through this. Annoying but harmless fans are one thing, but these psycho coomers really need to be dealt with. It's crazy, the lockpicking lawyer said in a talk that people have put GPS device in packages to try to track down his real address rather than the PO box he uses. Interesting. It's a whole new class of celebrity that has sprung up almost overnight, coupled with oversharing of personal lives and information via social media becoming commonplace. The reason tabloids have always sold well is that people start to feel entitled to know everything about celebrities, like you somehow gave up your right to privacy to, by becoming famous. A lot of smaller streamers get this problem, but without the wealth and infrastructure that traditional celebrities tend to have, so they have to rely on police who are reactionary, not preventative. True. It's going to take physical harm before the police will do anything. This isn't going to end well when you've got someone as unwell as this fixated on you. Dude, honestly, 
straight up live in a place that allows like guns and shoot intruders like straight up have like a, a death uh, a death trap uh uh in your entrance or some shit integrates the two problems here are absolute police indifference on the one hand and swatting on the other and um, well, this has nothing to do with it I'm not a big fan of what has been made made available on Twitch right now with certain categories, but this is beyond sick. No matter if you are a professional Counter Strike player or a professional Hata Banana Rider, this is not acceptable towards either of them. Yeah, stay safe, Kiro. I agree, this is a massive problem. Stalking is no joke. It is good that streaming has a low bar of entry, but you will become a public person after half a year of streaming myself in a niche card game. I also already got some strangely involved people hanging around watching me play games. I never even used a webcam to record myself. Getting involved in the stream, getting to know the streamer seems to be a goal for some people. Wow, that's really scary. It's always interesting watching normies find out how the justice system and policing actually works in real life. Maybe this is something he meant. Even if you do get someone jailed, what's next? Keep them in jail forever? Hope that their time in jail cures them? Go ask a police officer if his job is to save you from the baddies. Go ask your city prosecutor if their job is to protect you from every weirdo that's obsessed with online celebrities. Um, so, go ask a police officer if his job is to save you from the baddies. Yes. Pretty much, yeah. Save you or prevent baddies from getting to you. That's pretty much the job of the police. Maintain order. Safety and order. Go ask your city prosecutor if their job is to protect you from every weirdo that's obsessed with online subjects. Uh With every weirdo, yeah. But, like, not every weirdo. Every dangerous weirdo. You can rely on the police or the justice systems to save you. Even in nations with the strictest laws, like Singapore, they will not save you from being shivved by a crazy. You have to protect yourself. Yeah, I still agree. I agree with that. You still have to protect yourself. Such a weird thing, I have a streamer, I have a streamer I watch almost every night, sometimes we interact in chat, and because I've watched him for several years, it feels like I know him, but I don't. If I were to drive to his town, track him down, and say, hey, how's it going, I'm, insert name from Twitch, he would be rightfully concerned for my mental health. The proper time and place to meet the streamers is at a convention, not out and about in their daily lives. Yeah, sure. Coming from a guy's point of view, I kind of know how they feel. I dabbled in streaming around a year ago, only a small channel, but I had this crazy woman trying to stalk me. Things got ugly, and she would constantly try to ruin my streams and spread false information about me online and to anyone who would listen. Luckily, she was in a different country, in America and I'm in Australia, but it was still scary as fuck. I really enjoyed streaming, but the risk can be too real. Too great, yeah, whatever. I can't speak about the UK law, create a video Kira, the whole streamer YouTuber phenomenon, da da da. Well, but advice to anyone being stalked, document, 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 record, save, and copy everything, get a restraining order, do not get a restraining order, uh, that's how you tell them where you are, if they already know where you live, then yeah, get a restraining order, <laughs> may not stop them physically, but it will help them, help damn them in court, every tiny thing you do, record it, blah, 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 swatting feels like it needs its own separate video, yeah, okay, so I don't see exactly what... Value your sending, do not read the comment section of this video. It's one of the most pathetic I've ever watched, witnessed. <laughs> Why can't people just be normal? Thanks for speaking on this. Uh, I didn't see any like weird ass fucking comments. I have a lot of friends who stream on Twitch. We are in Australia. I don't know. I haven't seen. Maybe it's like the comments are somewhat new. That's why. No, it's two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's the Kira video. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, stalking is a fucked up phenomenon, and it shouldn't be happening, but here we are, and if you put yourself out there online, guess what? You will, you're like a beacon of light to the freak mosquitoes, uh, and they will find you, and hopefully they won't get you, but you never know. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. That was... Heavy topic, heavy topic.